Hey everyone, Alex here, and today, another episode of Clown Diets. My last one made some people angry on the vegan diet. I want to clarify something. These videos are not looking at someone who just follows these, like, recreationally. These videos are assuming, like, if, assuming I went full carnivore, ate no plant products, or if I went full vegan, I eat no, I eat no, I drink no milk, uh, no dairy products, no meat products, animal products, nothing, just plants. That, and, like, legumes and stuff, that's what I'm going off of when I make these videos. I'm not talking about people who just follow a diet because, you know, why not? And I mean no ill will towards them either. But, today's video is on the anabolic diet. You would think the diet that has anabolic in its name would be good? No. The guy who created this diet, his name is Greg Doucette, he's not a very cool person. He's, uh, one of the bigger fitness influencers who says some really stupid things, like... <laughs> Yeah, he sucks. And, you know, but we're going to be fair, and we're going to look at the pros first. The easiest way to explain this diet is imagine an easy-bake oven in a blender with protein powder. Honestly, that's all it is. But number one, the pro, the number one pro is it's tasty. The food is tasty because that's the, the whole spiel of the diet. That's the point of it. Tasty and number two, high protein because it calls for a lot of it having anabolic in its name. And literally, that's it. Now for the cons. Number one, too many artificial ingredients. A lot of the recipes in the anabolic diet, it calls for artificial ingredients like aspartame, asulfame, sugarlose, artificial colors like red 40, and so on. I'm not very, not super nerdy when it comes to those, but I know they're not good for your body. One Google search told me aspartame is linked with brain issues when eaten too often and for a long time. Now, someone told me that uh, fiber actually doesn't really hurt you, uh, even if like 100 grams of it. So that's actually pretty cool to know. I didn't know that. Um, I just thought too much of a good thing becomes a bad thing, but I was wrong. But in the anabolic diet, it's actually like valid because the amount of fiber you eat on this diet is crazy. I mean, those Kaiko bars, they have like 20 grams of fiber per bar. And the recipes in the anabolic diet have a lot of fiber to try to satiate your appetite. And um, the problem with that is it replaces fiber with fat. And that's number three. Number three is not enough dietary fat. So the anabolic diet, instead of including more dietary fat, it replaces it with fiber because it has less calories. The problem is that it goes way too extreme with the fiber replacement. Not having enough fat in the diet can cause a myriad of issues, such as brain fog, hormone issues, lethargic feeling, and so on. I followed the anabolic diet, I felt all these things, so, yeah. And I'm only 15, I should be able to feel good on any freaking diet, bro. Number four, and most importantly, it doesn't accomplish what it sets out to do. The anabolic diet sets out to be the fixation on food while cutting or just living. The problem is it doesn't have enough good food in it to actually accomplish that see point number one almost everyone who follows this diet including myself has said it's led to a bigger fixation on food and it just wasn't that good at what it was trying to do now i'm not saying you're lame if you like to make some anabolic protein brownies every now and then i actually did that once they were actually pretty good but if you follow this diet religiously it's going to cause some problems it did for me so that's going to do it for this video and um the road to 405 continues. My current short-term goal is to get to uh, doing Romanian deadlifts with uh, 225. And uh, I'll get to 200 soon. I'm only doing them once a week. I'll tell you how I do my leg training if you want. But that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Also, I can confidently say now I was pretty wrong about the vegan diet. I do apologize. But I'm not taking the video down. I think almost has a thousand views already. <laughs>